Well, good morning, and welcome back to another fishing adventure. As you can see, hello, I'm fishing a place where there's some tall weeds. I got the camera back there, uh, as tall as the tripod will go, trying to look over the weeds. Not going to be the best angle from that camera today, but uh, I got you right here, close up. Got kind of a little spot here that I kind of mashed down last night when I was here. I baited up this spot here in front of this area last night. I baited it up with uh, boiled feed corn and boiled bird seed. And there's lots of active fish right in front of me. Lots of lots of activity going on. So this uh, pack bait I made up last night. It's a mix of oats and sweet feed pellets and some of that boiled bird seed and a can of cream corn and some apple juice fancy and it's about eight o'clock in the morning kind of wanted to get out here a little earlier today but uh, you know sleep is important i didn't get to bed as early as i had hoped last night so those people that say you can sleep when you're dead well, i think if you don't sleep enough during when you're alive you're gonna be dead sooner <laughs> Oh man, that's a lot deeper than I thought it was. That's probably more than 10 feet deep, between 10 and 12 feet deep in my guess. But I know it's more shallow over to the right here. Put bait over there too. We'll see. Historically, this place has been very tough fishing for me. This is one of those places where I see lots of fish, but I hardly catch any. But uh, not giving up. And I'm not crazy about the, the condition of the bank here. Lots of loose rock. This is a great opportunity to see me fall down here. So hopefully that's not going to happen. But uh, yeah, it's going to be a little more challenging landing a fish with all this loose rock that goes really steep down into the water. It's only been five minutes. This is the line that's just straight out in front of me. And this fish is heading off to the right. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's a good fish. Here's that opportunity to go sliding down the bank. Don't blink. <laughs> oh yeah. Here he comes. Let's go down to the water's edge. There, right, made it. Big piece of concrete here right in front of me. You gotta watch out for it. I don't want the line to rub across that. I'm gonna get this net out there sitting on the bottom right there. It's real clear water here, so that the fish is gonna see the net, no doubt. This is a good fight, a real good fight. Come on in here. Man, this fish just got energy for days pieces of pack bait flying off the, the feeder there just now. <laughs> Must have still been some on there. Oh. Got him. Got him. See if I can get up without falling. That would be great. Having the camera up high like this is not ideal for showing fish. We'll see how I can make it work here. All right, first fish of the morning, little guy. You know, uh, I don't know, five pounds, something like that. Put him back. If he starts squirming while I'm climbing down this bank, I'm just gonna launch him into the air so he'll hit the water, and not the rocks. <laughs> made it. 
Okay, this one I just set it down and now off it goes. Yeah, this one was getting a bite while I was uh, fighting that first fish. Uh, I took my sunglasses off when I was up there by the camera and now I can't see a thing. I bet that sunglasses is real nice for you too, huh? The net's all the way still up there. I haven't had a chance to bring the net back. Dum dum dum. I'm gonna let him run. I'm gonna let him run for a second while I grab the net. There's no point in fighting him if I don't have a net to grab him with. Fast action. Seems like maybe the uh, pre-baiting might have uh, turned a spot that historically has been not very good for me into some good fishing. Could be just coincidence though. I don't think so though. When I mentioned the depth earlier, I was con concerned that uh, the, the, the bottom, there might be a thermocline here and the fish aren't feeding on the bottom right here. But uh, obviously they're feeding on the bottom, because that's where my baits are. Oh, please be a mirror. I just caught a glimpse of it. I thought maybe it was a mirror. Still can't tell. Come on in here, buddy. Gotcha. That's a little bit bigger fish. Fast action, fast action. Yeah, look at this bronze beauty. Bigger fish, I guess this five, six, seven pounds maybe. Bronze beauty. Back in the lake. I guess I could carry the fish down in the net. That'd probably be a smarter thing. I'll do that next time. Assuming there will be next time. Bye-bye. Thanks for playing. Well, the bait in the shallower water that I thought was going to be the one to get hit is just sitting there with nothing happening and the other two baits got hit. <laughs> and I got nothing left on this rig. Usually the tiger nuts will survive the fight, but nothing here. I don't know if I mentioned it or not. These are banana tiger nuts, by the way. Yeah, banana. Alright, let's get this one out. See if I can get the other one baited up before this one uh, takes off. Yeah, that's pretty deep there. I'm guessing 10, 12 feet. Yeah, same deal on this one. Nothing left. Check that hook real quick here. Yeah, that's still sticky sharp. Good. I'm guessing that my all my clamoring around here on this rocky bank. Catching those two fish has probably uh, spooked them a little bit. It's it's been about ten minutes without a bite now. <laughs> Here we go. It's been about two minutes after I said that that you know thinking I'm spooked away the fish. <laughs> This one's really digging for the bottom. I haven't caught a glimpse of them yet. Just digging and digging and digging for the bottom. Still haven't caught a glimpse. He's right here in front of me, but it just drops off really steep right here. There he is, there he is. There he is. He's going for the shallows over there. Ooh. He's looking for a rock to rub the line against. Now he's on the surface. Gotcha! Getting some good exercise climbing up and down this bank. Good deal, good deal. Looks like the tiger nuts survived that fight. I'll use those again. Yeah, another fish of similar size. Four or five pounds, I guess. Nothing real significantly remarkable about this fish. 
Good fight, good fight. Digging for the bottom, this one. Back he goes. Get your nose out of the net there, dude. Hold on. Keep swimming down. There you go. See ya. I love it when I only have to replace the pack bait. I'd say this is this I'd say this qualifies as a hot bite. Three fish and then the first like 20 minutes. Heck yeah. And I know I mentioned that uh, I came out here and baited this spot last night, but I didn't come out here sp just to bait the spot. I fished out here yesterday for about four hours and got skunked. But that was a different time of day. But I think this baiting has upped my chances. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Mm -hmm. Back in business. Swimming at me, swimming at me. No, I didn't lose him. Just swimming at me. I suppose it's been about 10 minutes since the last fish. The action on the on the top of the water has been slowing down. I've been seeing less fi less fish surfacing. It's getting later in the morning. It's a little after nine now. I expect the, the bite will come to a grinding halt relatively soon, but still getting fish right now. Yeah, it's another good fish. All right, time to net him. Oh, very close, very close. This guy's a net dodger. Net dodger, come on. There we go, got him. Stop. Yeah, fish number four, about the same as the most of the ones I've been catching today, five pounds or so. I mean, I think it's safe to say that I've kind of turned this crappy fishing spot into a good one here this morning, back in the water. Uh-oh, fin caught, boink, there you go, bye-bye. All four of those fish have come from the both the middle and the left rods, the two rods that are in the deepest water that I thought were gonna be the least likely to get hit. I think maybe I might need to rethink my strategy here at this lake. This is a deep lake and I've always kind of been seeking out the most shallow places I can find because they're kind of rare in this place. It's mostly just one big deep hole. I just kind of assumed that there was a thermal climb in these deeper parts throughout most of the summer. There's another uh, sand pit, similar sand pit that I fished too. It's very similar in characteristics and it does definitely, I'm 100% sure it has a thermal climb from mostly from like July through September. But, and I assumed that this one did the same, but I don't know, I think I might need to rethink my approach at this one. Either that or possibly maybe the heavy rains that we had day before yesterday kind of kind of got the water churned up and uh, kind of eliminated the thermocline. It's hard to tell. It's all a guessing game, isn't it? <laughs> Here we go. Yes. Oh, 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 he's going under my other line. Just thinking about leaving in about 10 minutes or so because the bite has slowed considerably. Let's see what we got here. Can I end the day with a mirror? That'd be sweet. He's 
digging for the bottom. Let's get the net down here. It's a steep drop off right here. I mean, it just goes straight down about five feet off the bank. Just This is probably a big fish of the day. It kind of looks like I caught a little glimpse of them. Good fight, good fight, good fight. Get in here. Get in here, Rocky. You good fighter. Come here. Yeah, right into the net. Yeah, this is a big fish of the day for sure. For sure. And I think I'm gonna get a weight on this fish. I think the, the size of this fish is deceiving. I'm betting it's over 10 pounds, even though it's not very long. Yeah, almost 12, oh, 12 with the net, so it's 11 pound fish. Yeah, big fish of the day. Not very long, but he's just really thick and stocky. I mean, the shoulders on this fish are pretty impressive. And I, th I thought it was a over a 10 pounder. It just doesn't look that big because it's not very long, but big fish of the day for sure. The, uh, the heat of the day, it's setting in, the bite has slowed, and I'm going to take a cue from the fish and also call it a day. Let's put this guy back. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. See you on the next one. Pull you back. Drop that. Lift up your nose there, buddy. There you go. See you later. Thanks.